All right, what's up, everyone? We're live. Option Edge coming at you, and today we're looking at GameStop. Okay, let's bring up Trading View. Um, so I came across a trading idea. This is not my trading idea, but um, I put this trade on I think Thursday, um, and man, uh, was this a good idea. So uh, we're looking at GameStop and. Got this uh, chart on trading view. Here is the stock today. You can see it made a big move to the upside, but before that, we open this open this about around here on the 20th. Um, and you can see since the big move in end of January, we had a big move end of January, and then around uh, March we had a big move, but since then, price has really started to consolidate here. And we've had this tight range going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, a low IV implied volatility uh, environment. Let's look at the implied volatility. Uh, give me a second. Let's go to favorites here. Here we go. All right, this is not, this is a, uh, right down here in implied volatility um, measurement. And you can see we're really low here. Um, we were super high back when it spiked up uh, in end of January and then again high in March. But since then, IV has just been, been grinding down. And um, as option traders, uh, if we go long, uh, particular, uh, if we go long calls or long puts, um, they're gonna be cheaper when in a low IV environment and they will get more expensive so if you buy them cheap and then uh, IV starts to rise, those calls and puts will start to get more and more expensive and you can profit. Um, so, okay, so that's the IV. So let me show you. Um, let's just get the Bollinger Bands on here. It's, it's another way of uh, another way of visualizing volatility. My bands are really big from, let's zoom in here. All right, you can see the Bollinger Bands are very tight. Um, and then we finally got this break up, breakout to the upside. And you can see we had a big volume spike here. Um, so let's go over, let's put this, let's go over the option trade itself. Okay, so here's the option trade. Let's look at, so this is, I, I bought, bought this option for $12.50 or $1,250 um, up 45 percent um so that's for me that's a decent chunk of change um and here's what we did we went ahead and bought the 190 call we also bought the 140 put and then behind the call we sold the 230 call and then behind that put excuse me we, we bought the 140 dollar put and then behind the put we sold the 120 call um so let's look at this let's visualize this and like Tasty works for the visualization. So here's a little uh, visualization of where we're profitable. Let's do, let's check the analysis tab here. Um, we got the analysis. Okay, so here you can see if we move to the downside, um, we're still gonna profit, but not very much. Um, you can see max profits 185. So even a move to the down, downside, a, a major move, we're still gonna make money. Um, if we fall, so the break even point is right around um, uh, where our put is, the 120 strike of the put. And then our break even for um, the call we bought is around 205. Okay. So right now we are, uh, we're about at 215 the stock. So we're at 215 and we're up 45%. So yeah, you can see that to the upside, we have a lot of room, uh, or excuse me, a lot of, uh, uh, if, if this expires anywhere above the, the, the short call, we're gonna be, have a um, almost a $2,200 profit in this trade. Um, I don't plan on holding it um, uh, all the way to expiration, but uh, I might do some adjustments uh, while this trade is uh, active. Let's go back to our, ooh, that's some, some text messages. Back to Chrome. Um, so there's a reason why we're selling. So the reason why we're not just straight up buying the 190 and the $140 put, otherwise known as a straddle, 
the reason why we're selling it is because um, the out of the money, this isn't, this is, uh, I got this trade idea from uh, Steven Place. He's a pretty good, um, he's, a, he's a really good options trader. So right here, we're looking at the uh, volatility graph for the strikes in GameStop. Um, so here is the out of the money, 230. So here's the 230 strike. You can see that the implied volatility starts to really go up. This is called uh, uh, skew or smile in the um, volatility. But in, in most stocks, for example, like the S&P 500, you're going to see a volatility um, smile um, towards the puts, towards the downside, uh, and then not so much of a smile towards the calls. Um, that's because people are buying puts for protection. Um, but it, since GameStop is such a, um, it's it has that high gamma convexity uh, squeeze nature that it's shown in the past that people are buying a lot of calls. So by selling calls um, out here and selling puts out here, they're more expensive. And uh, if this doesn't move for a little bit, um, they'll expire worthless and we can, uh, it'll just reduce our cost basis better. And then here is where we're buying the calls and here's where we're buying the puts. And as you can see, volatility isn't quite as high. So the calls and the puts are cheaper. Um, and like I said, this isn't my idea. This was uh, Stephen Place's idea, but basically he picked the 190 and the 140 put base basically on this where this range has been trading. Um, so yeah, so yeah, it's a uh, next time I'll post this trade when I, I'll, I'll post this video before I put on this trade so uh, others can join if they want to. And remember, this is for educational pur uh, purposes, but. Man, this is such a great trade. Um, I just think it was a genius trade by uh, Stephen Place, especially um, after like identifying the volatility and how to um, profit off the volatility. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, please comment on the videos and uh, subscribe, like all the videos, and we'll keep, keep this thing rolling. All right, see you guys. Bye.